Hi everyone, I'm Priyanka and you're welcome to the Terrace Kitchen. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make super soft and spongy choco vanilla marble cake. Let's get started. Before preparing the batter, take a kadhai pan or pressure cooker without gasket and whistle. Add some salt and at medium flame preheat for 10 minutes. I'll give OTG or convection instructions later. Now in a bowl, take half cup yogurt that is plain curd or dahi. It's not sweetened, it does not have anything else. Whisk it for a minute or until it becomes smooth. Next add half cup powdered sugar. After mixing the sugar and curd, add 1 teaspoon vanilla essence, 3 tablespoon oil. Do not use mustard, extra virgin or mustard oil. Use any flavorless oil. Then add 1 tablespoon melted butter. I am using salted butter here. Salted butter goes really well with the cake. 1 fourth cup milk powder. Milk powder will add a very nice and rich taste to your cake. After mixing, add around 2 tablespoon milk. The milk should be at room temperature. Now sift together the dry ingredients. So in goes 1 cup all-purpose flour, 1 teaspoon baking powder and 1 4 teaspoon baking soda. If you find it difficult to remove the lumps, you can sift a little dry ingredients, mix and then again sift the remaining dry ingredients. Now add 2 more tablespoons of milk and mix well. I like to use a whisk initially and then I like to switch to a spatula. Over mixing or beating the batter would make your cake hard so don't do that. For the chocolate cake batter we need 1 4th cup yogurt. Whisk it till it becomes smooth then add half teaspoon vanilla essence, 1 4th cup powdered sugar, 1 tablespoon oil. Give a good mix. Next add 3 tablespoon melted dark chocolate. You can also add milk chocolate if you want. Next add 2 tablespoon milk. The milk should be warm, it shouldn't be cold otherwise it would harden the chocolate. Now sift together half cup all purpose flour, half teaspoon baking powder and 1 8 teaspoon baking soda. Take your 1 4 teaspoon measure and take half of it and that would be 1 8. Mix with a whisk. After gently mixing with a whisk, add 2 tablespoon milk, 2 teaspoon cocoa powder. I am using Dutch processed. If you want to see the products that I use in the terrace kitchen, you can check out the link given in the video's description box. Now gently fold with a spatula. I am baking this cake in a rectangular cake tin today. You can bake this cake in a circle tin. 6.5 or 7 or even 8 inch in diameter. Make alternate layers of chocolate and vanilla cake batter. Once you're done adding the batter, you may run a skewer, but I'm not going to do that today. But you can run a skewer or a knife just like that, random swirls. If you want to bake this cake in an OTG or convection, you can see the instructions on the screen. Preheat at 180 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes and then bake for 30 to 35 minutes or even a little longer if required. My pan has been preheating. Now at medium flame, I'm going to bake this first for 10 minutes and then at low flame for 40 to 50 minutes. So after 40 to 45 minutes, you can check whether the cake is done or not and bake longer only if required. Insert a toothpick or a knife and it should not have any batter on it. That means your cake is done. The cake is ready and now I am going to cover this for some time till it becomes warm. Once the cake becomes warm or if it cools down completely, take it out of the mold. Just tap the sides and the cake would come off easily. Look at the beautiful golden color. Next, I'm going to cut slices from this cake loaf. Looks like a bread loaf. 
Look at the beautiful layers and pattern inside made from the chocolate and vanilla cake batter. The cake is nice and soft and is very moist and because of the milk powder and other rich ingredients it tastes fantastic. Nice and spongy, you can store this cake in an airtight container and keep in your refrigerator. Then before eating you can microwave it for 5 to 7 seconds or just let the cake sit on your kitchen counter for some time till it comes to room temperature and then you can enjoy it. Only if you get to store the remaining cake in your refrigerator. If you like this recipe, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Terrace Kitchen for more such wonderful recipes. Give this recipe a try and enjoy!